gives the first slide for our lecture today. It will be regarding the discussion of some skin condition. We will start by P9 skin condition. We have first one, it is called seborrheic keratosis. How it is a common P9 superficial cutaneous condition occur in male patients more than 50 years old. Here, you will see a multiple lesions, especially at areas over the face and the trunk. You will see them as a flat or raised filiform or pedunculated areas. They are variable in colors, but the most important word to see in exam, once you see superficial greasy scale overlying it, then please go directly for seborrheic keratosis. I will try to show you what is seborrheic keratosis as in this picture. This is a picture of seborrheic keratosis. You will find either flat or raised. Different variable in colors, filiform or pedunculated areas with greasy scale over it. Once you see this word, a greasy scale, then go directly, please, for seborrheic keratosis. This is the first penine cutaneous condition. Second conditions, they are melanocytic nevi, and the nevus is the most common skin lesion. We have four subtypes from this nevi. One is divided into two types. Which one is divided in two types? It is junctional type, because junctional is divided into junctional melanocytic and compound nevi. Both are subtypes from each other, and the others are separate types. First one is congenital melanocytic nevi. How it says congenital, so it can appear immediately after birth or at birth. Usually, it increases in size until reach one centimeter diameter. And this is, unfortunately, it has a malignant transformation susceptibility. Second type is junctional. And you have the compound, which is subtype from junctional, because this compound nevi arising from junctional melanocytic nevi. Junctional melanocytic nevi, they are circular macule, which have heterogeneous color, can appear over palm and soul. Compound nevi, also it is a pigmented nodule, just raised elevated nodule, can reach up to one centimeter like congenital nevi, and it arises from this type, from the junctional nevi. Spitz nevus, I will show you what is Spitz nevus. You will see it as a pink or red nodule elevated over the skin, common in the face, upper limb, and the lower limb. Can reach also up to a centimeter, and its management is excision or removal. A typical nevus syndrome or dysplastic nevus syndrome. This is an autosomal dominant condition characterized by mutation into this gene, CDK into A. CDK into A, it is the gene mutated in dysplastic nevus syndrome or atypical nevus syndrome. Let's show you some pictures of this nevi. First one is Spitz nevus. As you see here, it is red or pink, elevated nodule, found commonly in children, and it is found over the face, upper limb, or lower limb. Can reach up to centimeter, and its management is surgical removal. I will show you another one of a typical nevus syndrome or dysplastic nevus syndrome. You will see here multiple lesions, autosomal dominant condition due to mutation into CDK into A gene. You will have this increase the susceptibility of melanoma into the upcoming sublex, into the upcoming sublex. So here, once you have this dysplastic nevus syndrome or atypical nevus syndrome, you will have susceptibility to melanoma into your children. Next condition, the third P9 cutaneous condition, in order to become oriented, we have taken seborrheic keratosis. You will see the keyword is grazy scale. Then we have taken melanoma, and the melanoma, there are four types. One is subtype arising from the junctional. It is a compound which arising from junctional 
nivoi. Pati kif, koment tu si zhankshna nivoi in palm and sol. Koment tu si zhankshna nivoi in palm and sol. This is also common. Third condition, third common penile condition, it is the epidermal cyst, which is common in areas where there is hair, face and the trunk. Here you will have a central punctum. It is like sepicious cyst. But sepicious cyst is arising from sepicious glands. But here you see epidermoid cyst containing also punctum. But if arising within the epidermis, it will be epidermoid cyst. If it is arising from the outer sheath of the hair follicle, it is called pillar cyst. I will show you a picture of this epidermoid cyst. As you see, it is found here. You have a central black area of punctum. And you have this cyst surrounded by area of hyperemia at area found within the trunk. Here you will have related to epidermis. So it is called epidermoid cyst. But if arising from the outer sheath of the hair follicle, it will be called a pillar cyst. So pillar cyst or epidermoid cyst, both are cutaneous lesions. Fourth one is dermatofibroma. I will try to share it. Dermatofibroma. Dermatofibroma is a firm dermal nodule. Just you will see in the question, it is related to site of trauma or insect bite. So once you see a trauma or insect bite can be seen especially within the extremities of adolescent. You will see within the upper limb or lower limb, nodule, firm, solitary, related to site of trauma or insect bite. It is formed of dermato and fibroma. So it will be formed of collagen fibers, cellular dermal fibers, and you will see proliferation of the fibroblast. So it is a dermato fibroma. You will see a lesion. I will try to see to use this is the fibro. Dermato fibroma, as you see here. This is a dermato fibroma. This is at the site of insect bites. Here, this patient has here a history of trauma to insect bite. And after this, he has this solitary, just slightly red or pinkish in color, raised, elevated over the skin, and it is related to site of insect bite. This is called a dermatofibroma. So here you have taken four types of penine cutaneous lesions. First one is separate keratosis. You will see a grazy scale over it. Four types of melanocytic nevi. Epidermoid cyst with its two types, either epidermoid or pillar cyst. As in, the last one is dermatofibroma, which is related to trauma or insect bite. Fifth condition is sepicious cyst. And you will see a sepicious cyst in areas which are rich in sepicious glands. Common to see in the face, in the back, and the most common one is the scalp. Once you see a multiple sepicious cyst within the scalp containing sepum and it has also central punctum, you may have rupture to this sepicious cyst. If infected, you will have a sepicious abscess. But if you have proliferation to this sepicious cyst until it causes pressure necrosis over the skin, rupture, ulceration, and its form a raw area, with a regular margin, it is called a Cox peculiar tumor. And it is really a peculiar tumor because it is resemble the squamous cell carcinoma but has no metastatic criteria or no invasive criteria. I will share to you a Cox peculiar tumor common to be seen within the scalp. As you see, this is a young age female who has this sepicious in his head, in this scalp, it is enlarged, infected, ulcerated, suppurative, then it remains a raw area over hair scalp. This is called a Cox's peculiar tumor. And this is the fifth condition.